Um, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm doing another unboxing video. Today I'm unboxing the Jurassic World Hammond Collection Jurassic Park Lost World Parasaurolophus. Um, so yeah, this dinosaur was about $20 to $30. Um, it is available through Amazon. Um, and, um, I would say, looking at the box, um, it is from the law it's from the lost world jurassic park the second jurassic park movie um and it pretty much resembles the one from the movie now as you can see i'm not in my usual studio right now um i'm just trying to make the most of what i have um to use right now so anyway let's just forget about that um so yeah hammond collection logo right there um this imprint of the skull um and then the name right there so that that's pretty cool um we've got the lost world logo right there and a cool picture of the um of the toy of it that looks like the real thing and then a hammond collection up here um and on the back there is um a picture of it standing up the logo right here, Mattel's little logo down here, and the Hammond Collection logo up here. And down here, there's a little bit about the Paris Roll from the movie. There's a little movie window right there, and it says, The mass of Paris Rolfus is captured by InGen on Isla Sorna, but not without a fight. That's ominous. Um, okay, and then we've got the Hammond Collection logo right there on the other side of the box. So yeah, I'm really excited to open this up and see what we got. And as with some Hammond Collection figures, um, there's a bit of assembly acquired, so you just snap that in there. Snaps. Let's see here. Just slide that in there like that. And that is one time assembly that will not come back out. All right, so here we are completely unboxed. Um, and wow, um, this is a really cool dinosaur. Um, I would say overall looks and appearances and texture, um, I would say they pretty much hit the nail right on the ham, hit the hammer right on the nail. Um, yeah, nothing really bad to, bad about to say about the coloration. Um, I like this nice orange reddish stripe around the back, um, and then this white stripe, and then this little bluish stripe right there, and then you've got stripes on the legs there and on the arms too. So yeah, pretty good there. Um, the crest looks pretty nice too. Um, nothing bad to say about that. It comes all the way down to here and to the beak, so pretty good too. Um, nothing really else to say about overall texture and coloration. Um, so yeah, um, overall, I think it's a pretty cool dinosaur so far. And yeah, let's see how the face looks. Okay, um, yay, now I'm back in my old studio, so let's get on with it. Um, uh, okay, so looking at it from this angle, I would say they pretty much nailed it again. Um, nothing bad to say about that. The eye is pretty nice. That orange with the black uh, pupil. And there's like this interesting coloration around the eye, which is pretty cool too. Um, uh, that crest looks really awesome too. So I can just imagine it plowing through the jungle with that and making cool noises. Um, the nostrils you can see pretty well too. Um, and then this tiny, tiny mouth. It's just so comical. Like it's so it's so tiny. And you can pull it a little too far. So probably keep it about right there if you're like in stop motion or something like that. Because it can go a little too far. So just keep it about right there or there. Um so yeah, pretty cool. Um when we look at it from this angle right here. Face actually looks like kind of fat almost yeah I've heard a lot of comments about that so yeah um, otherwise other than the fat face I think it looks pretty cool um, nothing bad to say about the head 
So let's move on to the arms. Okay, so moving on to the arms, um, we've got that nice striped coloration right there and this nice movable joint right there. So that's nice. Um, there's a joint for the elbow, so that's nice too. Um, there's no joint for the hand, which like some amber collection dinosaurs have. So that's kind of sad, but I don't think in this case you would need it. Um, I, it might be fine without it. Um, nothing really bad to say about the arms. Maybe a little splash of black on those nails just to make sure you can see them and make sure they're there. Um, yeah, nothing really bad to say about it. Um, I think the arms are probably made specifically, like, so it can stand up, like, perfectly, because I've tried to stand it up on two legs, and it, it doesn't really balance well. So, the arms kind of have to just stay there, like that. So, um, yeah, uh, great, cool arms. Let's move on to the back. Okay, so here's the back. Um, some nice coloration. Um, going down a little further, that bulge right there is nice for the rib cage. Um, on the back, there's that nice stripe of orange and that st stripe of white right in the middle of those blue stripes. So yeah, pretty nice there. Um, as we go farther down to the legs, um, you've got those stripes right there for the um, coloration on the legs. And then if you go down even farther, you've got those nice feet right there with the shiny black um, toes. So yeah, they pretty much nailed the feet. I wouldn't say there's not there's nothing really bad to say about this, the the these feet um, or the back. So yeah, um, going over to the tail, um, it just clips in, so it comes dissembled in the box. It just clips in there, so it can turn completely around but it the coloration wouldn't wouldn't look right so yeah it can move like that so 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 yeah pretty good on the tail um great okay um as for maneuverability and artic articulation um the neck moves like so and you can fully twist it around so yeah that's nice there's a little head joint here for, I guess, moving around the head like that so the head can swivel. There's a little mouth, which is very com comical. Um, as for the arms, there's one joint there that kind of moves the whole arm. Um, and then there's a little elbow joint that doesn't really do much right there. I guess that's just so you can stand him up if he's standing really tall. Uh, same for the other arm. Uh, now for the legs, um, there's one big joint here, and then there's one joint next to the calf, and then there's one joint for the ankle. So, yeah, uh, not as much art articulation as um, some other dinosaurs, like the Amber Collection Velociraptors, but, uh, yeah, pretty great. I don't think you would need any more articulation on a dinosaur like this, um, but, yeah, it looks great so far um we've got that tail there again and it only moves like that so it doesn't move a ton um the amber collection velociraptors and dinosaurs they can there's a specific swivel for their tails so they come assembled in the box so um they must not have had enough storage space for, to fit a bigger tail because it look the tail is a little small um but yeah, pretty good so far on overall articulation. Okay, um, as for size comparisons, here is the Parasaurolophus compared to um, the Amber Collection Velociraptor Delta. Um, so yeah, pretty, oh, Delta's a little uh, too big in this scenario, but the Amber Collection is more about articulation and lifelike ability. So yeah, looks pretty good. And here it is compared to the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Velociraptor Dinoscape. So, yeah, pretty lifelike in this sense. Um, yeah, I would say the in, the InGen dinosaurs are, uh, the InGen Parasaurolophuses specifically are a little bit bigger, but 
Um, yeah, pretty, looks pretty good here. Um, as for thoughts and takeaways for this dinosaur, um, it's been a real pleasure to unbox um, a herbivore for once. Um, I would say the Hammond Collection is a really good collection if you want articulatable dinosaurs and um, ones that would be really lifelike for stop motion and whatnot. Um, I would say um, things that I might change about this dinosaur, there's not a ton that I would change about it. Um, maybe a little, maybe a little articulation here along the wrist joint, but um, no, not really, not much other than that. Maybe a little black paint on the claws of the arm, but not, not, not a whole ton to say bad about this dinosaur. Um, I would say it's been a pleasure to unbox it, and I would say definitely if you're looking for a herbivore or something from the Lost World, um, yes, this would be a great dinosaur to buy. Um, it isn't too expensive. I think it's around $30 on Amazon. Um, I'll put a link in the description below where you can buy it. Um, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Comment down below with your questions for me. And yeah, see you in the next unboxing video. Bye!